Now to the fun stuff, strength. So with every strength program, and if you wanna just get stronger in general, for athletics, anything, you wanna perform the three main movements or variation of each. Squat, bench, and deadlift. Those movements will put on more muscle and get you stronger than any other movements in the entire regimen of bodybuilding and weightlifting. Um, and there are, there are Olympic lifting and Olympic lifts and stuff like that, but I have very, very little experience with that, so I'm not gonna go into any of that sort of stuff today. With volume, when it comes to strength, you wanna perform about 10 to 20 sets um, per week of squatting, 15 to 25 sets per week of bench, and eight to 12 sets per week of deadlift. This is because, especially with um, bench, your body can typically handle more load and more volume when it comes to um, any sort of like upper body movement. You're not gonna get it, your central nervous system isn't gonna fry as fast compared to the deadlift, which is basically the heaviest lifting movement that you should be able to perform it is going to absolutely fry your central nervous system. I mean, I was doing a volume block the other week for, and I can go into this in another video about my power building split, but um, I was doing a volume, volume block and like four sets of six reps with deadlifts, man, just toasts you, absolutely just, just fries you. Um, so with strength, the general amount of repetitions you want to stick around with is one to six. Um, and with variations, that's different and you want to stay around five to 10 reps with that one. Single sets is something that I have actually incorporated into my training, which has had a tremendous amount of success in building up my lifts. So what this basically means is you perform like, you keep building up and warming up to a set, like let's say I'm squatting, let's say I will do five, like five to 10 reps with the bar, five reps with 135, um, four reps with um, 185, three reps with 225, and then I start moving into my single sets. So I will do a single set of 275 for one, a single set of 315 for one, and then I will go up to if I'm going at an RP of eight, which I will explain later, I will go up to around um, 335, 345 for that day. Before we get into the meat of this um, strength programming, um, with my uh, power building split, I have put on overall 100 pounds to my deadlift. And um, granted, I did not have much experience with deadlifting beforehand, but still, 100 pounds to my deadlift, 50, 60 pounds to my squat, and my bench press is horrible, so I put on 20 pounds to that. Hopefully my bench press is going to increase because now I've put in um, more frequency and I'm, doing, I'm benching around three, four times a week now. Um, but my deadlift currently sits at 455, squat is 355, and, uh, my bench press is uh, 225. Anyways, now getting into intensity. This was not a huge factor for hypertrophy, but when it comes to strength, it is very important. You usually want to stick around 75 to 95 percent of your one rep max. If you do not know your one rep max, there are plenty of like guesstimation calculators, things that will give you a general basis. Um, now, the best way to program yourself for using these, obviously percentages, um, but also what has been really helpful for, me, helpful for me is RPE. Now I can explain this better in um, a future video if you guys want me to do that or something, but basically what it means, if I'm rolling at an RPE of eight, that would mean that I would have two reps left in the tank um, on a scale of like 10, which is 10 is all out, one is nothing. Um, and RPE stands for rate of perceived exertion. 
Now the difference between percentages and RP, RP can be more used as like bumper plates is an analogy that was explained to me. Like it just is supposed to just keep you on track. And percentages is definitely like right there, you gotta do that, and this and that and whatever. Um, but percentages can be hard because if you're having an off day and your percentages are super super high, you're going to fry yourself. And RP, um, you can definitely just adjust more to how you're feeling on a certain day. Now jumping into frequency. With just a pure raw strength program, you're gonna to wanna to perform that three to four times a week. Oh, you'll be benching around two to four times a week, squatting two to three times a week, and deadlifting once or twice a week. And with all of these, you definitely wanna incorporate, if you're gonna do, let's for example, if you're gonna do three times bench, two times, or two times squat, and two times for deadlift, um, you're definitely gonna, if you go over once with deadlift, you're gonna have to put in a variation with lighter weight so you don't hurt yourself. Squat, put in another variation too. Um, that can help your sticking points. This can be explained in another video. Um, and bench, you definitely wanna have a variation at least in that middle sort of thing. So I kind of set up an example for that. Um, Monday, you'd be squatting, and then you do bench press after that. Tuesday, and then you can program in whatever accessory, accessory work you want to. Not a huge deal, whatever you want to do. Uh, Tuesday, you would roll with a deadlift variation and a bench variation. So, I can talk about variations and what I do in another video. Um, Thursday is a squat variation, and Friday, um, is deadlift and bench. So <clears throat> why I'm doing that is because I'm separating the two squat variations from each other and then the two deadlift variations from each other and bench you should be able to recover. Oh, also this, this should be a very light variation since you're, ben you're going to be benching pretty heavy on this day. So that'll be a light variation and then heavy again. Um, all right. Main thing with programming that was really tough for me to learn was periodic, periodization. Now there are a bunch of different periodizations. There's conjugate, DUP, daily undulating periodization, um, block periodization, and um, linear periodization. Um, currently, in my um, programming, I'm using all four and elements from all of them should come together and it should um, uh, make a good program together. They definitely do not have to be separate. Um, so, with um, the main type of periodization we're gonna talk about today is linear periodization. Especially with strength, this is very different than hypertrophy. What happens is, week by week, you are going to decrease volume and increase intensity. So if you start with six reps, you're gonna to go to five, and then four, and then three, and then two, and then basically what it's called is going to, you're peaking, but you don't, if you're an athlete or just wanna gain general strength, you don't have to peak for anything, you're not like peaking for a powerlifting meet, but peaking is basically, that's like your top strength, you are your strongest on that week. I know you guys might have some questions about variations and what splits should I use and like depending on the person and the frequency and stuff. Um, but I think I know the thing that you all are really thinking. This idiot recorded these things on two different days and you would be right. Anyways, um, if you guys have any individual questions or if you want me to go over my power building split in more detail, just like explain all the variations, rep ranges, and why I do them. Um, I'll probably make that another YouTube video. Uh, just message me on Snapchat or Instagram, which will be listed down below. Uh, let me know if any of that stuff works for you, if anything was helpful. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Um, guys are animals, peace, peace.